So this way. This is his favorite building in Oldenburg, the city palace. I like this town. It's small town, but with wonderful people. And you know, everyone, as um, you meet on the way, they smile at you. And this is not seen everywhere you go. So I think I like the people of Odenburg. These Ghanaian graduates are spending three months in northern Germany on scholarships. Today they're enjoying a break from their studies at the University of Oldenburg. Kofi is a computer scientist. His two colleagues are environmental scientists. They're researching Ghana's pressing environmental problems, such as water pollution. These sensor devices, we want to deploy them in the water bodies, and then they will sense some specific water parameters like pH, temperature, dissolved oxygen, um, turbidity, and then many more. This data could be transmitted from that point to another location and then be able to give interpretation of this data to the people because many people are getting cholera, are getting typhoid and other water related diseases because of the water they drink in Ghana. The University of Oldenburg is partnered with six African universities. The Ghanaian doctoral students are here to see how Germany promotes recycling and sustainability. That includes failures, too. A lot of e-waste, including from Germany, ends up in Ghana. It's a problem their hosts from the computer science department are familiar with. It's really good. From a computer scientist perspective, uh, Ghana is quite important if it comes to recycling and disassembling uh, all the computers you, you have or you used. But a lot of electronic waste is burned or simply disposed of. This releases toxins that are harmful both to people and the environment. Lloyd Larby is researching pollution and environmental degradation on the eastern coast of Ghana. The most important, the most challenging uh, problem within the coast of Ghana, yeah, and it's particularly at the eastern coast, it has been noted that the place has been used as a dumping site where people uh, dispose a lot of garbage, a lot of particularly plastics, and then a whole lot of uh, waste materials at the coastal area. Also, uh, inhabitants are cutting down mangroves, so we are hoping to enhance stewardship so that there will be a better protection for these ecological sites. Edward Crumson is looking into the effects of climate change on farming in the north of Ghana. Rising temperatures are taking their toll on harvests. Farmers are resorting to felling trees and selling the wood. This creates a vicious circle. So the soil becomes degraded because now it's more sunny. Because we have cut down the trees when it rains, the topsoil that is good for agriculture gets washed off when it rains. And so all of that are very important issues that affects them. An affluent country like Germany is dealing with very different issues. The Ghanaians are impressed by the waste separation systems in place here. I'll practice that myself when I go home. Um, I'll begin. When I start, someone will also learn, and I'm, I'm sure gradually will make a change. Let's go up there. The PhD students will be spending another month in Germany. When they return home, their German counterparts in the exchange program will be heading to Ghana to spend three months there.